Yeah, g'day guys, it's Matt here again. Uh, yes, we have had more rain over the weekend, so it's very sticky, mushy, and wet. So hopefully it dries out fairly quickly, but they are actually forecasting a bit, of, a bit more rain um, yeah, in the week. So anyway, that's just how it is. But uh, yeah, we've got shed jobs to do. We're probably a week out before we really want to start getting things ready to go and yeah probably maybe two weeks before the headers are going so uh yeah we just want to make sure we're on top of everything <music> we know it's about two weeks from harvest uh, because that's when the chase bin comes out and we give it a good check over yeah so we got this chase bin in 2017 and we actually didn't have i mean it was still dry but it, we had a crop to harvest at least in 2017 so we got to test this out and uh we only had the one header then but we actually had another person come in and was helping us so yeah really got to got to make use of it and yeah it was great just having that extra capacity um because we only come from a a bin half this size and uh yeah so and then after that though we had two years of, of drought fairly well and yeah it didn't really get to put it through the paces but um yeah then in 2020 we got got to um yeah give it a really good run then so no we've been been really happy with it it's um yeah we just got a few things we're trying to improve um we couldn't quite get the the claimed output of the auger it's a 24 inch auger and it was meant to be getting about 18 ton a minute and we only sort of getting around the 13 um and so i've tried a few things tried to speed up um the cross auger um which is which is that one that goes along there and yeah tried a few different things tried to open up the shoots in there just to let more grain in um but that didn't really do a lot a little it helped a little bit i think um but yeah the next one we're gonna do is just put a bit more flighting um, just down here in this bottom section uh, just at the start of that that upright auger there so just helps it get a bit more grain just started and and before it goes up into the tube um, so yeah we're, that's the next project to try and get it get it pumping out a bit quicker um, but yeah other than that it's it's been really good they're built built like a brick dunny these things so it's uh yeah very solid and yeah, it's got the full full walking axle uh, here. And yeah, it's got the steering. Uh, you, it's just a hydraulic controlled steering. So that's just as far as locking it and unlocking it. So if you're backing up, you obviously want to lock it so it doesn't steer, but it's all automatic. Um, it'll just follow. And that just means it's not screwing around in the paddock as much. And uh, yeah, and also it's got uh, load sensors um in here so that there set up is is load sensor that's attached to the the axle and yeah just to turn it just measures the tiny amount of flex and uh yeah that that's how you get your your weight and yeah so we've got our uh, an ipad in the in the tractor or whatever we, you can connect it to your phone or whatever and it's a bluetooth system that that tells you your weight so you can automate it automatically switches over when you're unloading or loading so it tells you exactly what's going in and coming out so it's uh, quite amazing how it can be so accurate. Um, like, yeah, we it's you're within a, a, a you know 50 kilos or so, I'd, I'd say. Um, so yeah, there's one on each axle, and then there's one on the pull, and that adds all them up together and, and gives you your weight. And uh, yeah, so the other thing it's got too is on the front um, axles, it's got a brake um, system, very similar to a truck. Might be able to just see it under there, like a truck drum brake, but it uses hydraulics. So just hook that into one of your remotes, and if you're going down a hill and you've got a full load or whatever, you just can um, use them to help slow you down. Um, so yeah, that's just nice peace of mind. And uh, yeah, got the the nice open um, trap door under here, so there's no slide you have to pull out. You just undo this little clip here, let that drop down, and um, yeah, then she all just drops. So we actually got this one too. It's a split bin. Um, so we actually have a door that you can close and um, yeah, you can just have totally separate front to back, um, whether you want to put fertilizer in it and seed when you're sowing or whatever. Um, we did do that one year, but we don't really like putting fertilizer in, in something that looks this good. So hopefully, yeah, we'll get to, get to run her a bit more 
pump, pump a bit of grain through it this year. Yeah, so this is the little Bluetooth um, module. Um, so yeah, we actually pair this to our phone and then it, or an iPad or whatever you can have in the tractor and, and yeah, it tells you your weights. So yeah, that makes it really easy. But every year we've got to just check and possibly replace the battery. We actually put one in here from last year, a spare one. And uh, yeah, meant to get about 12 months out of them, but yeah, we just do it before harvest just to, just to make sure. Well guys, it's another drizzly day. Yeah, haven't had as much rain as our forecasting, thankfully, but I think there's still more coming in a few days. Anyway, we're here this morning. We've got to we've already started doing an oil change on this. Um, and yeah, then we've got the header over there. It's got some GPS issues. It, um, yeah, I think Trimble changed their frequency and yeah, which means we've got to change the frequency on that. And we've done that, but yeah, just hopefully it works, but we just got to let it sit there for a little bit to sort itself out and um, yeah that's what we're up to today yeah we got um, this all done ready to go so nothing else really needs to be done to that so that's good and the header here with the GPS we are still trying to work out whether a software update is going to fix the issue or possibly make it worse so uh, anyway we've found a bit of a workaround that we can change uh, just to get it to work but means we've got to go through and reconfigure it every every morning at least we won't get stuck with it uh, not working well we're back at the development block after a bit of rain i actually had more rain here than at the the home block yeah so i think it's been about 25 mil in total or or something like that so it's actually a um a cracking day you can still see obviously a bit of water laying about she's pretty wet and slippery but um yeah no it's it's lovely lovely weather We've, um, yeah, just been drizzly, sort of miserable days the last couple of days. So, yeah, this is much appreciated. Righto, so today, um, only going to be here for probably half a day, but going to put some spotlights here, just some cheap ones we had laying about. Um, now, I can't promise it's going to be pretty, but it'll work. And, yeah, we're just also going to replace the reverse lights uh, at the back, just put a couple of um, LED work lights there and, and replace them, and that should help us at night um, but yeah i think as you can imagine these lots here are pretty pretty sad i think i don't even think they're all working anyway but all the reflector in them's gone um yeah it's all peeled off so they don't really work that well so it might be another day to replace them once we have spotlights on the side i think most of our issues will be will be sorted so and now i've got belts for this uh, so yeah, we've got in this little trap door here, you can see the belts, um, and yeah, we're doing that. Haven't heard back exactly about the pump. I don't think the pump is actually, it wasn't, uh, completely failed. So there may be another issue, whether it's a compensating valve or something that's, that's not working. Um, but anyway, we'll hopefully get that back at some point. Uh, but yeah, we've got some filters and stuff to replace on this too. So anyway, a bit more, a bit more loving to happen to this thing. Now I thought while I was here, I'd, I'd do a little bit of mining. Uh, this was all packed up full of dirt, uh, just from backing up and things that just hangs up in there. Um, yeah, we're just at the at the front of the of the dump truck, and uh, yeah, I didn't know that there was coal in it. So. I'd say at one point in this in the life it was it was carting coal. Uh, we got it from somewhere that was doing sand and that sort of thing. So uh, yeah, it's like a bit of a, a time machine here. We can go back and see what it worked on. Might also clean out the radiator. That might be a good idea. And while we're here too, uh, we needed to replace the batteries and. I pulled them out the other day and uh, yes, when we first got it, it was fairly rusty, but just to get us by, uh, welded in a, a, a steel um, bar there and it's, yeah, it, the batteries haven't fallen out yet, but uh, while I was pulling them out, one did actually fall through. So I thought, yeah, we probably should, probably should redo this. Um, currently just waiting on a bit of six mil plate to get folded up for us and then we can just weld her in and replace that whole bottom section. So that's the plan there. Now, 
The other thing is, um, yeah, we bought new batteries and I didn't put this in the last video because it was a bit of a sore spot, but just had them sitting there ready to go in. And uh, when we're pulling out the pump, we had to get the loader into there. And I just clipped one of them with the loader. So I destroyed a, a rather expensive battery. So yeah, that was a bit of a sore spot for a, for a little while there, but um, yeah, just enough to catch the edge and, and split it. So uh, yeah, so that was a, a bit of a waste. Well, we've got more harvest gear getting ready. So we've got uh, the auger here, the Westfield. Um, we've actually got two of these. This one's the older one, um, but yeah, so we've got, got two of them to just go through, check, service. Um, you can see over there, we've got the mother bin. I've uh, got to go through it, and uh, yeah, it uh, holds about 100 tonne. That one there is actually uh, homemade, so um, I wasn't really old enough when it was being made, but Brad and Dad and uh, some family friends and all that, yeah, made it, and it's been working really well. Yeah, so this is the other chase bin that we had, um, and still have. But this one was custom made, um, it's only an 18 tonne. It was sort of the biggest we could go with the single axle. And uh, yeah, so got the big auger on it just so we can empty it out really quickly and get back to the header. Um, now that is a 24 inch auger and yeah, we've actually had to choke this back quite a bit because it was snapping shafts and doing all sorts. But yeah, we can generally unload this uh, 18 tonne in uh, about a minute and a half. Um, and that's going fairly easy. We, if it's fully, um, yeah, if we took the restrictions out, um, it would probably do it in under a minute. Um, yeah, it's pretty wild. But anyway, that's, um, yeah, what, what I was explaining about with the double flighting on the yellow bin, what uh, is, you can see this one actually has been double flighted. So it's not just one, one flight wrapping the whole way around. You can see that it's got this other one here opposite. So. Uh, all we need to do is just do that for the first um, little bit because once it gets up into the tube here, um, yeah, there's no real benefit to have two flights because there's nowhere else for the grain to go but up. Um, but yeah, when it's just all the grains in here and spinning around, um, yeah, having the double flighting just helps grab the grain and start forcing it up the tube. Um, so that's what we're hoping to do to the other one and hopefully that'll unload quicker at least anyway. Um, but yeah, we are just a bit spoiled normal people wouldn't have a problem with the uh with the how the yellow one is performing but we uh yeah after having this thing we're pretty pretty fussy how uh, how quick we like it to unload well we're here with the echo now it didn't start the other day so whacked it on the battery charger and uh yeah i don't think they're meant to do that so we'll uh yeah whip it out i'll test the other two just to make sure they're okay but we might need uh might need a, a few new batteries here yeah so it seems like it's actually more information this video than than any sort of work but i guess that's what wet weather does um now the other interesting bit of info is there was a uh, someone watched the videos saw we had the d11s and uh they contacted me and said that they had some old tracks and rollers that they were just going to get rid of um and but they still had a bit of life left in them so obviously wouldn't you know put the tracks on um and and want to have you know a couple thousand hours left but um to get out of a pickle you know we could throw them on and, and get a, a bit of life left out of them so uh, they said we can have it and as long as we obviously organize freight and that so yeah we got just got that yesterday i believe so yeah thanks uh thanks simon for that we're actually pretty pretty chuffed because so yeah the rollers here are actually in probably better nick than the ones that are on most of the ones that are on the dozers um so yeah i think we'll get make use of them um it's nice just having a few sets ready to just pop straight on if if you uh yeah happen to seize one up or something but yeah the tracks the grousers are actually quite good um i mean they're, they're worn obviously but these are the heavy duty ones apparently so uh yeah there's there's still a fair bit of meat left on them but the issue with them is they're just worn down uh in here on the actual train link chain links um and yeah the the pins themselves are, have got a bit of wear 
see if you can see in there. It's a bit hard to tell, but yeah, they they got a bit of wear on them, but no, nah, there's still still a bit left in them. So that was um yeah, that'll be very helpful as backup. And we've got a heap of spare grouser plates. So yeah, that's that. Righto guys, to sum up a rather interesting week. Um, yeah, there wasn't any paddock work at all really. It was all just fixing, checking, and uh, yeah, just trying to make sure we're all in good shape for harvest. So to sum it up, uh, we're still not sure about the GPS on this one. Um, we've still got to just, yeah, find out a bit of information about that but um yeah everything else we're making progress so yeah we're we're getting there if the if the rain can stay away we'll be we'll be harvesting in no time uh in the description i've got the links to the our facebook and instagram account so yeah click on that if you're interested to follow along yeah, we'll see how we go keeping all the videos up during harvest